Greetings, noble viewer, the good tonight here, and today is finally the day. It is here. After a long, long, long wait, the pack I've been waiting for is finally here now. The pack in question being the Tag Combat Sustainment Pack. Now, I first saw this being run by my old team leader, uh, Demon of Ogimi, when we were still playing up in, uh, what was that place called? Ukin Beach. Back when Ukin Beach was still a thing, which was fantastic. I remember seeing this on this backpack, like this, and I was like, what in tarnation am I looking at? There's these weird patch pouches on the outside, he's got extra mags up here, that's kind of nifty. I have no idea what that is, because I was not yet a gear aficionado, which is basically a fancy, nicer way of saying gear whore. So, with that in mind, we've got our tag, comments and statement back, and you don't see a lot of these. Like, in fact, I've never seen anyone else wear one, ever. And my buddy was offering to send it out to me, and I was like, well, you know, let me see if I get some more details. And, of course, the only review I could find that was really done was once again by Grantham, the Air Force boy. <laughs> He's got an eye for gear, I'll give him that. But I was not expecting him to be the only review out there, so I finally got a hold of my buddy, he finally got it out here, and it comes with pack straps. The pack straps are detachable, naturally, although, unlike... It's an older design, so unlike the uh, twin needle and stuff, you don't have the quick release clips built in. But of course, with any degree of ingenuity, you can just install your own, circumvent the problem. Hey, it's not that hard. So yeah, that's nice. But what's nice about these is you can either mount them directly into the back, like the um, all the maps and mini maps I've had in the past, or you can put them on straps. And straps are important if you're going to be getting in and out of vehicles and you need access to your pack. One of the big things that they actually mentioned doing, if I take my chair here, is you can actually just mount this onto the back of a vehicle chair, and boom, you now have extra mags and everything in front of you. And when you need to dismount, you just take the bag off and throw it on over. So, what this does is you got three main components. Now, there is a bit missing. It does usually come, chair, get out of here. You're done, your scene's over. What is missing is usually this middle pack here is reserved for your combat casualty bag, which is a giant mesh duffel bag that you can throw gear in and do stuff. It's nice to have. It was either lost or destroyed. You can't really say with the guy I got the bag from which one it is, but it's nifty and really cool. So I've got three mags in here, which are just the lighter weight ones, but it fills up a lot better when you got uh, more stuff. And if you look on the back here, there's this little bit of um, this little elastic cover here. That's where you put your drinking tube through. It's because of, of course, the back panel here. The main compartment, I should say, has your bungees for your mags, and you got your little bit of uh, your bladder, I almost said bladder control, your uh, hydro pack little holder here. Oh, look, there's the little hose tube back there. So I guess you could install it backwards, that might be the easiest way to do it. But then you can put anything else in here, like a light jacket or rain gear or anything of that nature. And you can even adjust the tension of the bungees to make your mags, or whatever you choose to put in fit a bit better. So that's the main compartment. Again, up near the top here, we've got the mags and the bungees. They come with these simple little pull tabs. You could probably replace them with the um, hard plastic nubs that you'd usually see with like LBT pouches, which would make it a bit niftier. You can tie them down, fit things a bit better. You've got this little magazine pouch here. You've got a little Glock 17 mag in there right now, but you can use it for multi-tools or anything extra. Now for these ones, these are just a little more box shaped, and these are going to be useful for all sorts of things. Now, airsoft-wise, this is generally where you're going to want to carry... I guess you put your extra HFC gas tanks and propane or whatever in here. You can carry more BBs down here, and you can uh, get a little speed loader in with the BBs. And you can reload mags and, well, sustain combat. That's what the bag's for, right? So that's nifty. And without anything in here, you could actually fit a... I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on this. But if you get the right size, you can get an HPA air tank in here. Just have the zipper partially open for the little tube to pop out, and boom, you can HPA tap, polar star your gun, and keep that on you. Now, if you're going to do that, you're probably going to want to weave this into your uh, plate carrier. But as is, it's pretty fine. Now, for the uh, straps themselves, they're very minimalistic. They don't have... Um, I know the twin needle one even has the, uh, whatchamacallit, the little mesh backing to give you better airflow and stuff. But you're generally going to be wearing this over a plate carrier or something. And what's nifty is all these little things poke out everywhere. They don't have any way to really cinch them down, so I could have just ran them back through, but you can work around it. I have faith in you. 
you're smart. As you can see, it sits kind of like this. You could probably move it a bit higher if you so choose, but ultimately, I don't have anything in the main compartment right now, so it fits okay. It's comfy. It's out of the way. I can move and do things and operate. It's my joke. It's an eight instead of words, because that's what cool kids do. But yeah, so no quick detach clips, so if you're doing anything, I'm never going to be able to say clips without it bothering me and me wanting to shout magazines, but with quick detach buckles, you can get that one free. And you don't really have them down here, so yeah, pull these free and get your arms free. So hopefully your sling's not in the way. And you can get that off and get extra. And in between operations, you can re-slot your mags, move them around, and do all that fun stuff. So that's nice. Now, I did say, one of the best things you can do is run this on a plate carrier. And fortunately, today, I've got the LBT-1694, which has been stripped down a bit. I just have to take my glasses off because LASIK hasn't happened just yet. We're going to put that on. Ta-da! Pop it open. Like so. Uh, it's way too hot. One of these days we'll get a JPC, I swear. That was a bit tight. I got fat. Alright, so now we got this on. I'd rather not lose the ability to breathe. I may have went a little overly zealous on the cover bun. Fits nicely though. Got our plates in, so now with that we take the pack once more and we can sit nicely in the vehicle. The back, uh, without anything on the back, we can do our thing. Throw these ah, straps over here. Huh. I know this is entertaining. And we cinch this down a bit. Do, 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 do. Oh, not now! Calm down. Now we've actually got a lot more uh, room than I thought we were going to. Ah. So yeah, those are nice and out of the way. I'm actually going to let that sit back a bit. Okay, yeah, I had it way too high. That was the problem. So yeah, no, that's nice and comfy. It doesn't move around too much. We've got it secure up here on the chest. And it's out of the way. We can still shoulder our weapons. Great. Yeah. So we're still here. We're still able to go about, operate, do our things. Throw that on over there. So going about, do, 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 do. Oh no, I am out of magazines, I say, to no one in particular. To my imaginary airsoft friends. Yeah. So we need more mags. What do we do? Pop that. Reach down here. Free those up. This could get in the way of the anything you keep on this side. So that's, we really want to keep the sides relatively slick. In my knowledge, we go, oh. We're generally going to be kneeling, by the way, behind cover. But since I don't have a cameraman, this is a solo operation. We go, I need more mags. One. Two. Three. Yay, counting for Marines accomplished. So we've restocked our magazine supply. Even though these mags do not go to a gas blowback gun. Tighten this back up. Ah, ah, ah. Do, 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 do. Get comfy. Alright, cool. Retrieve rifle. And we're ready to continue operating onto the next segment of the operation. And now we have magazines that don't, again, don't go with this gun. But if I had prepared properly for this video, we would have gas blowback mags and be able to swap through them a lot faster. But I've also got work in like 15 minutes, so. So yeah, I just really wanted to show off this pack. I've been waiting for it forever, and now that I got my first opportunity to actually film, it is very snazzy. So there you go. That's really all there is to it. The pack is insanely expensive for what it is, but I do think it's a fantastic pack, especially if you're doing actual operations. Because instead, as I mentioned, airsoft-wise, you're going to be using it to carry uh, extra BBs and stuff, but IRL, you're going to be using it to carry your extra... Three liters of water, probably in the main compartment. You'll have your extra fuel jacket in case the weather goes inclement, gets a little too rainy or a little too cold or something. You can carry your uh, compass, your maps, assuming they're not in an admin pouch, and carry them all in here. Definitely MREs, food, snackies, anything else you're going to need to get through the day. It's particular snackies because low blood sugar can be a killer, so keep that in mind. And yeah, 
absolutely fantastic. And again, airsoft wise, we just be able to reload mags. So, yeah. Although I don't know, really know what we use the mesh duffel bag for. I suppose if you need to load up a laptop or anything, you could also get like claymores and extra airsoft frag grenades. Maybe you keep extra cores and stuff for thunderbees in there. You can do pretty much anything and everything. Now, Okinawa wise, almost all the fields are going to be way too tiny, but as you can see, if you're doing like a larger multi-day event and then having your food and water and everything available, being able to easily access and move it around, possibly get in and out of vehicles, is a huge plus. And I do like these straps, even though I said they're not the same as the uh, twin needle ones, but they do come with the uh, chest clip, which was missing, and there's a little place to secure that so it doesn't fly away or do anything crazy, and you can remove it. Very versatile, very fantastic little pack. I've already talked way longer than I should about it, and um, yeah, so... An extra little magazine for your handgun, if you're using that, which I almost never don't. I, I never use it, as I'm trying to say, no double negatives. Don't use it nearly as much as I should. So yeah, fantastic pack there to do anything and everything you might need to do. Demo charges, literally everything. So this one's going to be probably be my main go-to go -to pack. I was using the GMR mini-map, and it's nice for flexing, but I've literally never seen anyone else use one of these. So if you happen to have even known about this, then hey, go ahead and hit that like button, I guess, or don't. I'm just a man on the internet. I can't tell you what to do with your life. But yeah, so this is going to be my go-to pack from here on out and possibly forever in the future. And uh, yeah, maybe in the near future we'll see how well this sits on a JPC. So cheers, everyone. Stay chivalrous. Uh, stay fabulous. And most importantly, stay Gucci. Cheers. Button, don't do this to me. Bye.